was one of the first things I looked for was a squat rack. Uh, most places, Amazon, uh, most companies like Fringe, Rogue, if they had any squat racks, they were like extremely expensive. Um, so I was trying to go with like the cheapest thing that I could find. Um, me already working at Academy, I pretty much knew what they had in terms of squat rack. Um, the two main things that I wanted or was kind of like a must have for the squat rack were uh, plate holders. So bars at the bottom that I can either store plates or use um, the plates to weigh the rack down. Obviously there's no weight on this one right, right now. And whenever I touch it, it moves, right? Um, anytime that you're squatting anything heavy, obviously the rack's gonna move with the more expensive racks they're less likely to move just because of how they're built. They're built out of a lot stronger uh, material. This one is actually a pretty thin, it's a pretty thin metal. Um, but yeah, the other thing that it was like a must have was a pull up bar. So this is not um, our garage. This is not me and Sam's house. So obviously I can't just go drilling and put a pull up bar anywhere um, on the walls or anything like that. So being able to do pull-ups and stuff like that is, is kind of, was a must. All right, so I am 5'9", um, and whenever I stand underneath it, that's about as much room as I have. Um, pretty much I can grab the top of the pull-up bar just with um, holding up, but you think about it, you know, it's, you gotta kinda, you have to work with what you have. So it, it's actually a pretty good rack whenever it comes in, into the terms of like the pull-ups and stuff. I'm pretty much able to, I can do pull-ups pretty well on it. So it's not like a, the height thing isn't like that big of a deal. Um, even doing, even taking something like a band and putting a band on it. Um, so even with a band on there, I can still, step into it and do some banded pull-ups pretty well. Um, obviously you can't do kipping pull-ups on it because it rocks back and forth. Like that, but at the end of the day, it's not bad. One thing that I do really like about it, um, I personally would never use it, but it does have the bracket so that you can bolt it into the ground. I think that's cool. Um, it's cheap enough of a rack that I would never bolt into the ground, but that's something cool um, that you can always have. All right, when it comes to the terms of the things that I really don't like about it, the biggest thing would be the J-hooks. These are very cheap. The welds on them are not very good. The actual material that's used to make them feels very cheap. Um, yeah, it's, it's already like we've only, I've only benched and squat with it a couple times and it's already like scraping off and leaving marks on the bar and stuff like that. Um, the, I mean, they're, they're okay for what I paid for it. You know, that's, that's the biggest thing that I can't really complain about the rack because, you know, I paid less than $200 for it. Um, so, you know, it, it'll do what it needs to do kind of thing. Um, but I, I definitely feel like you could have gone with better J hooks. Um, the other thing now, even with squatting, I think the last time that I squatted it was like 285, I think. And it was the only time that I've had a J hook on the rack actually come out. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was probably just my fault. Um, I think I clipped the J hook coming out of the rack. Um, but yeah, it also has like these longer ones that you can use as like, they're, they're supposed to be like safety arms is what I'm thinking. Um, but if you look at it, unless you're, you know, barely pull, you know, unless you're, say even if you're benching or squatting, that's not enough room to like give you any safety, you know, unless, you're, unless you've got it a lot farther down. Um, but this right here is the third uh, hole up from the bottom. This is usually where I set it whenever we're benching. So at most we're looking at uh, let's go here. at most we're looking at that much distance for if we're benching. 
um, which then, you know, it's, it's not really, it's not going to really be used very much. But it's good. I like them um, just for the fact of um, if these smaller ones ever do break or get messed up, I at least have technically a second set that I can use until I can either order or find other ones that will fit that will fit inside of that. The other thing about the J hooks is I don't know who designed or thought that it would be a good idea to leave such a big gap here in where the, the J hook bracket that holds it together. Because whenever I'm squatting or whenever I'm doing pretty much benching or even with bands on here, this J hooks likes to turn and then when you turn, it easily falls out. Um, and I've done it where I've put it on the other side and flipped them so that maybe it's on, like now this bracket is where this holder's on the outside of it. I've done that and even with that, it still tends to slide in because if you think about it, the band's resistance is getting pulled into the middle of it. So it's gonna pull out and it often falls out. 